In the following video, you will see what a Senior Medical Service Corps officer accomplishes as an administrator at one of our premier medical centers in the United States Air Force. As a chairperson for many critical decision-making meetings, you impact the entire operations of the delivery of medical care. The following is just a sample of what you would encounter as an officer in the Medical Service Corps. Hey, these. Good morning, team. Good morning, Good morning, sir. First, let's get an update on our national disaster support for Hurricanes Harvey, Irma, and Maria. Sir, the Medical Readiness Team has received a tasking order for the Global Response Force efforts. What we've done is we've vetted personnel, we've made our selections, conducted mass communications, and sent those selections to both ACC and AMC. We'll be sending out a critical care air transportation team within the next 24 hours to go and support CONUS humanitarian efforts. Great. While that is on the way, we have a hospital to run here. Medical Justice, what's hot on your plates? Sir, the surgery department is requesting a $2.4 million Da Vinci robot package to provide state-of-the-art patient care to our beneficiary population. Addition of this robot can increase our standard of care while decreasing patient recovery times, leading to a better patient experience for our beneficiaries. Unfortunately, a package of this magnitude can take quite a bit of time to procure. Is there any advice to get this in-house quickly? Partner with the MSCs at Keesler, they have a proven process. Develop a procurement package and work closely with FMOA to expedite. With the aggressive work conducted in our clinical departments, RMO is able to justify our ability to earn dollars and seek high headquarters approval. That being said, we can potentially acquire the system within 18 months. Although you need to work with contract to fast track the procurement process, ensure installation and training is included. Thanks for the advice, sir. We'll get it done. What's the status of our outpatient clinics? Sir, our family health clinic is experiencing a 33% shortage in providers right now, but we may have capacity in our internal medicine clinic. So we're analyzing our workflow and our patient acuity to see if we might be able to shift some patients over to internal medicine and continue to provide high quality care. Great work on analyzing the acuity of our rural population. Now we know how to proceed with moving patients over to internal medicine. Those 1,400 patients will receive additional care while family practice clinics focus on immediate and primary care medical needs. Work with the director of medical staff. I'm sure appropriate staffing is already in place. Yes, sir. That will take a lot of communication and administrative work, but we'll get it done. Thanks for the update. What is our latest on support for the wartime mission? Sir, Higher Headquarters has tasked us to set up a new deployment capability for our hospital staff, the austere ground surgical team. This team is led by an MSC, so we'll have to make sure we choose the right person with the right training to lead this surgical team to the deployed environment. It does have seven weeks of training, so we'll have to get with our counterparts to schedule it and minimize impact to patient care. An awesome opportunity. It's great to see MSCs leading the team from the front. Continue to hold education forums to foster interest from our staff. Brief the executive committee to gain buy-in on mission support efforts. We will develop two expeditionary teams prepared to deploy to areas such as the Middle East, Africa, and the Korean Peninsula. Sir, the 80th Air Base Wing is aware and supports the medical group. Please advise us if there's any further assistance that you need from the wing, and please inform us of the individual that is selected. Thank you. Does it? Hey, excuse me. I apologize. Um, sorry to interrupt. We need to get a leader to lead the medics downrange. We need somebody who's a good listener. We need somebody who has critical thinking skills, and we need somebody that can make decisions. Jenkins, you're perfect for the job. Great. I'm ready. I'm on it. Jenkins, Colonel Walski, take over. Yes, sir. Hey, I'm Colonel Jenkins. Air Force Medical Service Corps officer and an integral part in the delivery of trusted care in our military treatment facilities. I am Air Force Medicine. 